Hi, I am Krishna Karan Gantasala and today I am going to present a few slides on evolution and development towards 4G technology. And coming to the purpose of this presentation, with the advancement of modern day technology, voice and communication has varied from wired to wireless technology. Mobile phones are very essential in daily life and with the advent of tablets, uh, which are like interpreted as phone plus tablet, communication has reached a new peak and the technology driving it is 4G technology in mobile phones. Mobile and wireless communications are moving towards a new era that will be characterized by seamless collaborations of heterogeneous systems. The need for high speed communication while on the move and for advanced services with quality guarantees. Recent market research study shows that the most of the traffic in the future are caused by the wireless networks and it will be produced by mobile multimedia services which are expected to proliferate by the year 2010. Furthermore, mobile and wireless communication technology is becoming more and more important in, develop developing, techno in developing countries where people demand for fast deployment and low cost for broadband wireless internet services. And now, having a mobile has, which has 4G technology in it allows activities for the mobile users such as video calling, web browsing, social networking and with software aided tools which are also called as the apps or the applications. One can work over the phone and technology responsible for it is 4G. So, coming to the introduction, the first generation or 1G technology is the voice only technology which is developed in like 1990s and it's exercised as analog technology so I, 1G technology is the devices are ready and exposure was unreliable however they effectively presented the inherent easiness of mobile communications and coming to the second generation since digital, digital communication is efficient and distortionless compared to analog data digital communication has been adopted. 2G provides services like voice calling and SMS which stands for short message services etc. The GSM, TDMA and CDMA are the few cell phone standards of 2G and uh, so coming to the third generation it has enhanced features for multimedia communication such as uh, MMS, digital data and voice etc and 3G provides services such as electronic mail which is email and paging, web surfing and video conferencing. This technology has extensive bandwidth and high speed capability upwards of 2 Mbps providing flexibility for routing repeaters, satellites and local area networks. Coming to the fourth generation, the key contradiction uh, between 4G and 3G technologies is improved data transfer rates and security. Thus, 4G is looked forward to offer more enhanced versions of the same advancements undertaken by the 3G. 4G will be based on packet switching while 3G is also dependent on the previous technologies adopted by it. And WiMAX, uh, which, which is basically implemented by fixed and mobile technologies is also uh, adapted in 4G technology and LTE which nowadays most of the devices are having like your iPhones is also uh, implemented in the 4G technology and coming to the comparison between the generations as you can see there are different technologies to your left hand and the futures to your right side the AMPS advanced mobile phone service it has the futures of support voice service analog data service are uh, not supported and coming to the second generation CDMS and GSMs are being implemented and you can see that the speed has significantly raised up to 160 kbps per second so coming to third generation wideband code division multiple access which is which stands for WCDMA is one of the fastest technologies which provides up to 2 MBBS of data transfer rate and coming to the CDMA 
which uh, uh, is also implemented in third generation. Uh, basically, carriers like Sprint and Verizon has implemented in in USA and some other countries. So coming to the uh, comparison between third and fourth generations, uh, we have the speed, which is like very less in third generation compared to fourth. And coming to the bandwidth, as you can see, it's high for the fourth generation and it's comparatively less for the third generation. And the switching design basis, the TG only uses the switching or the circuit switching while the 4G utilizes packet switching technology. So concluding the presentation, uh, 4G mobile technologies will simulate subscriber interest in broadband wireless applications because of its ability and flexibility towards the world of wireless mobile communications. LTE also provides a data rate of about 300 Mbps which is like pretty high for normal broadband usage and on the downlink it's gonna be like 75 mbps for 4g represents a significant evolution over existing 3g standards most notably in the removal of ip address limitations significantly because ip address is one of the most uh, existing conflict that has been faced by most of the uh, internet access uh, providers also the people utilizing it and however increased data transfer rates and smooth handovers of clients over heterogeneous networks but fully compliant technology is still in development so it's gonna take a few few more years to implement this technology successfully but once it has been implemented it's gonna be significant so thank you